is Alter and welcome to a review for you. Today I'm doing uh, Teen Titans Judas Contract. That's right, I'm going to do a review. Okay, so, uh. Oh, wow, that, that was so emotional, guys. Like, I don't even know, man, where to start because there's just so many things that happened. Um. I like that they aged up uh, Starfire a little bit. Uh, of course, she has a name in this one, and it's, and it's uh, Carrie um, or Kari. Yeah, Kari. Sorry, K O R I. Um, but I still call her Starfire because you know I'm a big fan of the original Teen Titans, and uh, they did really do a good job of uh, keeping that in. Um, the only thing is, uh, there was Sp Cyborg in the the poster, and there was no Cyborg in in the whole movie, so that's a bit confusing. But um, I'll let that pass because the story is still very interesting, and that's um, you know there's something to be said and I definitely think the the director and uh, the story writer knew like what to keep in from the original Teen Titans because there is definitely something there from the teen uh, the original Teen Titans that's there um, and uh, you know as a big fan of the original Teen Titans I see some similarities but of course you know they, they take it up a notch and uh, change it up and make it more adult so I, I think it was really good that they made it more adult at least and um, you know uh, we discovered more things about them which is really interesting um, I I found the storyline on Raven uh, the most interesting actually because in the original Teen Titans her powers were given by Trigon not because she trapped Trigon in her crystal gem on her head but this time it is because she trapped her father in the crystal gem and it's her inside and I really still I still really love her power so that's something uh, nice and of course Beast Boy's power still impresses me uh, because you know he can change it to anything so that's really something interesting for me and I remember still the original Teen Titans where um, he was actually a part of a superhero team uh, before he joined the Teen Titans so that was an extra layer to him I thought uh, that was in this but this is more of the um, this is more of the hive uh, storyline that they decided to go through and I'm not I'm not really saying anything bad against that I'm just saying that it wasn't more it wasn't really about the Teen Titans it was about their uh, conflict and I mean you know the um, whole like finding out about Hive and you know uh, fighting against that and obviously the biggest thread here is um, the Terra storyline which uh, the original Teen Titans had a whole season dedicated to that I remember it was season 2 and um, as I've always said you know I, I always relate to Beast Boy in a way that is very different because I, I know what Beast Boy is feeling in this and you know a lot of people say like well, no you get you can really you know you can't really tell what he's thinking but he is a vulnerable guy and you know we saw that a little bit dived into and in Young Justice but I haven't finished Young Justice I might finish that <laughs> soon uh, uh, anyway but in this storyline it is very much still that Beast Boy cares about Terra and uh, he wants to do anything I'm sorry there's noises outside I'm sorry about that but um, anyway uh, yeah so there's something that Beast Boy always wants to help Terra and you know he's in love with her obviously his heart belongs to her but I was, you know, in the original Teen Titans, I often find myself finding more of a chemistry between him and Raven because, you know, they're always, like, playing off of each other, which is really interesting. And I like that they kind of aged down Raven instead of the original Raven, which she looked to be, like, 17, 18, like, high school. And this one, she looked to be, like, 15, 16, so that's something interesting. Um, and obviously the uh, two Waynes are uh, in this um, movie, uh, Damien Wayne and um, Dick Grayson. Obviously Dick Grayson was the original t um, Teen Titan, uh, he became Nightwing. 
left the Teen Titans, but and now it's uh, Damon Wayne in the Teen Titans. He's the new Robin. Not a lot to talk about Batman, which is something interesting. I they just talked briefly. It's like a grandfather will be proud. So I was like, yeah, okay. I I know what that reference is to, which is Batman, obviously. Um, all right. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, Speedy. Uh, we saw Speedy in the first act, the first half of this movie, and then he just disappeared. So I don't know what happened to him. Um, obviously, you know, in Young Justice was explained a little bit more, but I would have liked it if they touch a little bit more on that. Maybe he find out something about Terra and then like left the Teen Titans because they didn't want to listen to him, kind of that thing. But I understand that it has to keep the two um the, they have to keep two timelines and uh it's it's fine uh you know uh that they didn't dive into that but uh, in the overall of things it just kind of plays off as i could have just left the first half away and watched the second because there's the second is more of the running into the plot so um yeah uh, obviously Slade Wilson is still the main bad guy um there's brother blood but I don't consider him as a bad guy cuz I kind of knew he was going to get beat but Slade Wilson is the guy who is always the dark in the shadow uh, kind of guy and uh you know the first top of this I was saying like oh well that's the closest star for a story we will ever come to but I realized that in a uh, old uh, old um Teen Titans. We had more of us. We we had more of the storyline of Starfire. Was just never dived into properly because we only had four seasons, and the second season was taken up by Terra, third season was taken up by Raven, and the fourth was um, Beast Boy, and we never had a fifth. But you know what? I'm fine with that because you know Starfire is interesting on her own, and maybe we do kind of need that. Um, you know we do kind of need that uh, backstory to everything and i thought the, the the last third was a very good anecdote to uh suicide actually because you know uh, gar was always like uh, gar was saying like you know even though um she felt alone we were always with her and you know it's sad that she had to do this but as I see it, she will always be a diamond in the rough kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, the big twist in this one is that Terra turns out to be the bad guy. And obviously in the original Teen Titans, we saw that. Um, and I still remember that. So that was not a really big twist for me. But the more interesting thing about it is uh, that they brought a new angle to this that I didn't really expect. So I, I fully applaud them. For bringing this new uh, angle to it, which is that Slade Wilson actually saved her when uh, you know she was being like tortured and everything, she's being dragged around. Uh, so that's something interesting that I thought that I'd never see because you know I, I never understood why she went over to to Slade's side in the original Teen Titans because you know to me she was just like I don't know who I am and then you know the guys are just helping her out and obviously that's not to say that that can't happen it's just that there is something more to this story that holds more uh, grip for me because when somebody saves you from that traumatic experience you're more likely to be connected to that person in a lot of ways so you feel you owe your life to them and etc etc and I like the um, anecdotes between Slade Wilson and the new Robin Damien Wayne uh, because you know they're all uh, they're all talking about um, you know if I could if I could have keep kept you around more, Damien, you would have come to me and say uh, like call me Papa and br brought me a pipe, uh, which is uh, essentially a talk of uh, Slade Wilson kidnapping uh, um, Damien Wayne and you know making him train and everything with him and um, you know kept him as a pet basically um, and. I remember the first season of the original Teen Titans where uh, Slade Wilson trained the Robin as well and uh, forced him to to like keep in 
keep being in on his team like Slade Wilson's um, as Slade Wilson's pet because otherwise he would kill uh, his Teen Titan team. Um, I would have liked to see Cyborg in this one actually because uh, yeah I guess it would have been too annoying actually nah yeah I guess I guess this team up is fine enough um nothing much else i i said that there is a, actually quite a lot of adult humor in this one so <laughs> that's that's pretty interesting because uh the original scene that had uh, adult humor but i like that we threw away the like the romantic endeavor between robin and starfire and you know, that's not to say that in the original team that they didn't do a good job. I just felt that it was dragged out and you know, we all knew that they would end up together. And in this one, they just didn't waste time and said, you know what? You got it. They're together. Boom. And I'm like, yeah, I, I'm fine with it. Um, and of course, I wrote down Be uh, Beast Boy and Terra. Uh, that's obviously the obvious one. Um, okay, so I always liked Raven even though like she's like that cold like distant girl but I always liked her character and this one the, I obviously said it in the early part but I'll reiterate it again because uh, she she has control of her power and you know that's always to say that because now she trapped her dad uh, in the crystal it's more annoying for her because you know it's Tricon and you know he expects more from Raven because he's a demon god whatever uh, and I love the ending where Raven is like you haven't seen a demon and then she's like Azrael Mantria Sintos and then there's the whole demon form coming out of her so that's really interesting um, yeah nothing much uh, to say but in this one Beast Boy and Terra Kiss, so I'm like, yeah, guard, get in there. Because <laughs> um, we never saw them kiss in the original Teen Titans, and, I, and I've always said that, you know, things were more left in the open for um, Beast Boy and Terra, because, you know, she technically died in the original as well, but she came back, uh, you know, and she was, in, she was brain wiped. Uh, and uh, she went to school like a normal kid, but you know, he, uh, Beast Boy, you know, being Beast Boy, and you know, um, that's why I relate to Beast Boy a lot because you know, he, he can't let a friend go, you know, and because they've had so much connection with each other that he, he wants her to come back, and life's always not gonna be like that, like you don't always get the girl and so that was really sad ending for me but it made sense it made sense why uh, this happened and of course in this one it, it it's more emotional because we leave on the note that she's dead um, and you know he is always gonna have that picture now but in the original it was more in the book open because she, she came back and he found her to be uh, uh, to be alive again um, so yeah I, this movie was good um, I wouldn't I wouldn't say it deserve I wouldn't say it's up there in the top of my list but it's it's really good I'm not I'm not against it it's just that you know I, I've seen some better animated movies to be honest with you uh, but this is a really good Teen Titans movie now that I think about it it's a really good Teen Titans movie we had actually a few other Teen Titans movies I think the original had a movie as well uh, that was the Tokyo one but that wasn't as interesting as this one because they brought in the whole storyline in there um, I thought I was going to be weirded out by Starfire's like more adult form but I kind of got used to it and then of course the ending uh, it showed that there is one more Titan and uh, I think because they were not clear about it and you know I, I've, I've 
I haven't read the comics in a while, the Teen Titan comics. I don't think I've ever read the Teen Titan comics if I if I'm not mistaken, but I think it is the it is the um, uh, kid of uh, um, Dick Grayson and uh, uh, Starfire because uh, she looks to be around there. Um, maybe the whole the whole like other super powered girl whatever but you know because Beast Boy said like Starfire will kill me I think it is their kid so yeah um, I hope this gets a sequel honestly I do uh, I hope that we dive into more uh, we don't have a Teen Titan series anymore no we don't okay there's there's no such thing as Teen Titan Go Okay, I don't believe in it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, we don't really have a good Teen Titan series, uh, and I guess the movies is all that we'll have. And hey, if that's what we have to cling on to, to proper Teen Titans um, uh, showing and you know uh, proper adaptation, I I take it. I take it. Uh, really hope this gets a sequel. Um, I think there is another one. Uh, I'll have to check it out because I won't watch the Justice League one actually um, thinking about that but if you guys really want me to watch it and review it I can. Uh, there's a, uh, you know, I don't know if it's good or not. Um, I really thought about this movie and uh, I was like hmm should I watch it because I kind of knew from the title itself, like Judas Contract, I was like, hmm, I think it's gonna be the terror storyline again. But that's not to say, like, I wasn't impressed. Like, I was quite impressed by the animation and, of course, the fight sequences and everything like that. Uh, and, of course, the, obviously, the deep subtext that's going on with the other members of the team, not just Starfire or uh, the original Robin or the new Robin uh, or Terra or you know those people but the subtext of the whole movie on its own because it's talking about the it's talking about the fake religion kind of and it's brother blood coming into the cult following sort of and he's more of that immortal god that wants to that wants more power for himself and he actually succeeds a little bit but obviously it is taken down by uh, the Teen Titans in general. Uh, I don't think Slade Wilson is dead again, you know, they, they mentioned it, they're like, yeah, it's we I've been in the Lazarus Pit uh, quite a bit lately, uh, so I don't think he's dead. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys, uh, and I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. See you then.